Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a full tour of my kitchen. I'm going to share how I have everything organized and where I keep everything. This is a way to organize that works really well. It isn't over the top, but it's neat. It's easy to find things and it works really well for our family. And I hope that it will give you some ideas. I'm going to show you inside all of my cabinets, my drawers, my fridge, freezer, and pantry. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to start with the cabinets first. This first cabinet is to the left of our sink. And this is a great spot to keep dishes because it's near the dishwasher. And at the top, I keep my serving dishes. I recently chipped one, so I need to replace that once we can go shopping again. And on the second shelf, I have some pasta bowls and some cereal bowls. Some of them are in the dishwasher. And then on the bottom, we have different size plates. I also keep my dining table set. And so we even have more plates of that. Uh, to the right of our sink, I have this cabinet. At the top, I have some bowls. Um, those are Pyrex bowls and I just keep the lids right on top so I don't lose anything. And then I have a few mixing bowls. I have my garbage bowl, which is a lifesaver for keeping things in it while you're cleaning. I talked about that tip before. I have some wine glasses, different glasses, and we like to drink out of mason jars. So I have those in there as well. This cabinet is to the left of our stove. At the top, I have water pitchers and a salad dressing bottle. I keep these two on the table when we have company, just so we don't have to keep getting up for water. And then I usually use the pitcher for something else to drink. And here I have my oils on one Lazy Susan and vinegars on the other. I will try to link as much stuff as I can find. So organizing products as well as some of my kitchen favorites. This cabinet is usually very full with small Pyrex dishes and meal prep dishes, but we have some of them in the fridge. This cabinet is to the right of my stove. I love keeping spices oils, vinegars near where I'm cooking. I love this system, it's super easy, but it's easy to see everything. I love these jars because they hold a lot of the spice and it just looks really neat. I like to hang my measuring cups and spoons with small command hooks on the door just to make it really easy. I keep a lot of my utensils in this utensil holder next to the stove. Most of the things that I need to use for cooking are here. I do have a few others in a drawer, which I'll show you. This isn't super fancy, but we have our coffee maker over here and our variety of coffee cups. I keep travel mugs and water bottles in this cabinet, it's just convenient. And this drawer has coffee and tea. I actually keep my coffee in a different spot and I'll show it to you, it's in my pantry. The guys are fine with the Kroger coffee and they drink a lot of it. I just drink one cup a day, so mine is a little more expensive and it just works. I have a lot more tea when it's colder, uh, but since it's warm outside, I haven't been drinking as much, so we don't have as much tea in there. Now I'm going to go to the lower cabinets. This cabinet is below the coffee and tea and it has a pull-out drawer, which is nice and it's nice and big. So I keep a lot of my larger platters and serving bowls and dishes here. This is the lower cabinet to the left of the sink. I have some vases here. I have a few other ones throughout my house. And I have some larger bowls here as well. The ones in the back are just for outside when we have company outside their plastic. John keeps his lunch bag here, he hasn't used it in several months. <laughs> and we have some trivets here. And then the bottom placemat, I just put that under vases of flowers sometimes in my kitchen. Now we are in the cabinets on the island. So I have some different things, pots and pans. I keep a lot of skillets under my stove and I'll show you that in just a second. I have this cheese grater set, which I love. It has all different ways to grate cheese. 
have a couple of pans and then like I said I keep my skillets under my stove and I know that this is a warming drawer but I never use it for that it's a great place to keep skillets and then the next set of cabinets on the island this actually came with my stove top it's a cast iron skillet I also have another cast iron skillet and my Dutch oven under here I have this small cabinet to the right of my sink and it's perfect for muffin pans, baking sheets. I keep these parchment paper sheets here. Makes cleanup really easy, I'll link them below. And then I have a Lazy Susan. I don't know if it's all Lazy Susan cabinets or just ours, but our contractor said not to put anything really heavy. So I found it to be the perfect place to keep lids for my pans and my strainers. So I can easily grab those. It's right next to the sink. To the right of my stove, I have this drawer and cabinet. And I wanted to mention that my cabinets and drawers are lined with white contact paper so it blends in really well but they are lined and then I just have different pans some more cookie sheets um, some casserole dishes that were my grandma's and a bunt pan back there this cabinet is under our kitchen sink the last one that we have and this is very functional I just use the Dollar Tree shoe boxes to keep my cleaning products dishwashing detergent garbage bags and remember all cleaning products weren't available so I don't normally use that kind of dishwasher detergent but that's all we could find um, and it lasted forever because it has like 96 of them I do like to hang my gloves to dry and I just use a binder clip and then attach it onto a command hook so they can hang and dry now we're on to drawers. This drawer obviously houses our flatware and some of our serving ware, and it's to the left of the dishwasher, making it very convenient. And I love the bamboo drawer organizers. I will find this and link it for you. It expands to the width of your drawer. To the right of the sink and also very close to the stove, I have my oven mitts, which are awesome. I will find those and link them. They are the best oven mitts. And over here to the right of the stove, I have my cutting boards, mostly because they fit in this drawer and my rolling pin. These are the drawers on my island, so I have other kitchen gadgets. I do try to keep it to a minimum and just things that I actually need and use, but I just have them corralled there and easy to find what we need and not too many and then this drawer is mostly for like mashers and graters and yeah we can just pick it out of there and it doesn't have to be complicated in the way that we organize it I keep all of my dish towels here and they're pretty close to the sink and the dishwasher so that just makes it very convenient and then my last drawer I keep my cloth napkins linen napkins we don't use paper napkins or paper towels so we have a lot and some of them are in the laundry but the ones in the back are more for like i want those to stay nice and then we have some others that we use daily i would say if you want to do that get darker color linen napkins because they won't show stains um, of course wash them but they are going to get stained no matter what you do so it's good to have a darker color and now we are in the pantry and I wanted to show you an overall look at first. It is pretty deep on the right side so there are kind of layers and we have cabinets in the basement for some overflow. I could definitely fit everything in here. I just like having the extra stuff downstairs because we have the room. I hang my aprons with a command hook over to the left. I have my small cooking appliances on the top shelf. So mixer, food processor, bread machine, air fryer, a couple of crock pots, the picnic basket and some trays are for outside when we have company and I have um, just some things that I use only when we have outdoor company. I have these canisters. I will link them. They're great, uh, they're airtight. And I actually have some extras in the basement because sometimes I find that I'm using 
things regularly so I put them in the canister and if I'm not using it I just put it in the basement so it clears out the room sorry it's a little bit blurry here I have a notebook for writing down recipes you guys know I love to cook and then my recipe binders we have a bunch of cereal and behind these boxes of cereal there are more boxes of cereal which I was trying to show you but it didn't quite work out uh, we have some granola and then down below i have bins um let me mention the bins are from the dollar tree i got these when we first moved here so they're about five years old but you can definitely check out the dollar tree and the labels were from dollar tree they don't have those anymore but it's great to have things corralled so that you know where to find things i have this uh, immersion blender I love this thing. It does multiple things. It has a mini chopper as well. I'll try to find that and link it. My food processor attachments. This is the coffee that I love. And then my boys have a couple things back there. I have some cake plates, more canisters for flour, sugar, um, gluten-free flour. I have all of my baking things corralled so I can just take that whole bin when I'm cooking. I have some more Lazy Susans with some canned goods and just extra like um, black pepper and um, salt and things. I have my potatoes in a bin and I have my rice cooker there and then behind the rice cooker I keep the attachment for seaming. I just keep a piece of wax paper under the potatoes because if anything falls um, it just makes it easier to clean up. This bin corrals all of our grilling utensils and things. We have some different protein powders. Um, my boys are 19 and 22, just in case you're wondering. Um, so they have you know, protein powder and they go to the grocery store and pick up some of their own things and tuck them in the back if you saw any of that and just different snacks and stuff. Here is the fridge and let me go through this for you guys. At the top, I keep our eggs in these containers. I will link them. They hold 14 eggs. We have our butter, some grapes. Just went to the grocery store, so I have lots of stuff. I like to keep our yogurts in there so they stay corralled. My son did some meal prep, so he has those. I like to have a lunch bin, so lunch meat. John's the only one that eats it, and some lunch cheese. And then I have dinner stuff in here. So sometimes there will be packages of bacon or cheese or whatever. Uh, I have some things thawing the shrimp and the crab on that second shelf. My boys have some steaks and there's some strawberries back there. I try to organize it the best we can, but we do live here and there's four adults living here and it's not gonna look absolutely perfect all of the time. I keep my salad greens in one bin and then some of the broccoli and kale and things in this drawer. I do keep a linen cloth on the bottom to absorb some of the moisture. It keeps things lasting longer. And I also keep a linen cloth in the bag with my onions and with my spinach and things. I do like to keep my onions in the fridge. Do whatever you prefer. Some people actually get like angry about that, but it works for me and they last longer. And then here's the door. I don't drink the Red Bull. <laughs> One of my sons has that. I think maybe both of them do. And I just let them buy that on their own. We have our condiments here. Again, we live here and I just opened up the fridge to show you. I try to keep it organized so that we can find things, but it's not so perfect that you're afraid to move anything. And then here is the freezer. I found it really helpful to use these bins. These are from the Dollar Tree and they always have different bins. I've had mine for like five years, but they always have bins like this. Um, so I keep some chicken and one, beef and another. We have our bread frozen when we buy extras. And then down here, I have the one bin for my smoothie stuff. Um, so I have bags of fruit and some frozen bananas. And the rest of the stuff is the guy's stuff. Some of it they buy. We kind of switched over to letting them buy like junk food they want. 
and that way they can get whatever they want um, and then we keep everything else stocked up. They don't pay rent or anything and we pay for their school so it just kind of works for us. I do keep some of my produce on the countertop like bananas and avocados and tomatoes things that still need to ripen and I actually don't like the way that tomatoes taste when I keep them in the fridge so I just keep them out there. So I hope you enjoyed this. I had to talk pretty fast based on the footage that I had but I hope that you found this video helpful and I will have everything linked below that I can find organizing products as well as some of my kitchen favorites and if you need a link for anything, just feel free to ask and I'll try to find it for you. And I will see you in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful day, guys.